So, Malkönig, the legendary German grinder company, just released this home grinder called the X54 All Round Grinder. Let's take a closer look inside and see what we get for our 499 euros. What's on the package? At this moment there is only a black one available, but I'm assuming that they are planning on releasing more colors because of the print on this box. We can also see that this one is for the European market, but they are already prepared for the international market. Let's open up this box and see what's inside. I'll speed this up a little bit. To be honest, this is the most beautiful packaging from Markenik that I've ever opened. First thing to drop out is a little menu, written in German, and a little thank you card. I can already tell that the hopper feels great, just like any other hopper from the professional Mark Koenig lineup. Kept inside the hopper is a little dosing cup. It feels great. I assume it's stainless steel, so it should be dishwasher safe. I like that. And now there it is. The baby boy. The X54. Already with the port filter holder attached to it. And lastly, the plastic adapter for the dosing cup. The thing I was most excited about was the grinding adjustment and good news is stepless. There are printed steps starting from 1 up to 35. I can't really review the grind quality because I just received this grinder a few hours ago, so stay tuned for updates on that topic. The little outlet is tillable and can be removed simply by pulling it out. The portafilter holder can be removed by pushing the button on the right. The adapter plate prevents you from unintentionally starting the grinder. The hopper is attached by a system that I've never seen before. The sliding plate acts as a lock and beam stopper at once. Let's turn this bad boy on. It takes a few seconds to start up. It comes with an automatic sleep mode so you don't have to turn it on and off all the time. The grinder comes with four different presets that you can toggle through with a jog dial. It even has Wi-Fi built in. I could manage to turn it on and find the hotspot with my iPhone, but there is no app at this moment. We should wait for Markun to release it so that we can take advantage of this function. Beside the four time presets, there is a continuous grinding mode. It can be started by pushing the start stop button on the left. Of course, you can use the portal switch too. The grinder will start grinding once you hit the button and will stop immediately when you remove the portal filter. Adjusting the time preset is quite simple. To get into the settings mode, simply push and hold the jog dial for 3 seconds. Now adjust every single number and submit each one with a push. To save the preset, just push and hold the jog dial for 3 seconds again. Before I go deeper into testing, I want to know how much coffee will stay inside the grinder chamber after the very first grind. So I weigh out 20 grams of espresso beans and grinded them at the finest setting, which is already too fine for our espresso. I've let the grinder run until no more grounds came out. This is what the grounds look like. A few clumps, but overall okay for a grinder this size. The output was 13 grams, so I had lost 7 grams inside the grinder. Next I want to see how it performs at normal use. How consistent are the shots and weight? I filled up the hopper with 500 grams of espresso beans and set the grinder to the optimal grinding setting. The lowest output was 
0.32 grams and the highest was 17.24 grams. That's a delta of almost 2 grams. The noise while grinding with a full hopper is at peak 80 decibels, measured right next to the grinder. Going away a few centimeters reduced the peak to 77 decibels. That's the quietest grinder I have so far. The portafilter holder can be adjusted to all kinds of portafilters, from bottomless to Lamazokos Precision Portafilter. Adjusting the bottom fork is done by loosening the screw on the back. Because of the design of the portafilter holder, I couldn't use a funnel, so some grounds fell off on the tray. Fortunately, the tray can be easily removed and is attached magnetically. Now let's put this bad boy in his new home and see how good he can manage single dosing. Unfortunately, the grinder won't work without a hopper attached. Putting on a barrel isn't easy as well. So I have to test single dosing with the hopper attached. For my test I prepared 5 doses of espresso beans, each one with 20 grams. I will throw each dose into the hopper and grind until nothing comes out anymore. Here are my results. The first shot came out with 20.1, the second one 19.8, the third one 20.2, the fourth one 20.2 again and the fifth one was perfectly with 20 grams. That's a delta of plus minus 0.2 grams. One last thing I want to mention is the dosing cup. I think this is badly designed. As you can see it's too big for my portafilter. You can use it for filter coffee but if you want to use it for your portafilter this is what happens. That's it so far. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please thumbs up, subscribe and activate the bell.